Hey everyone, in this video we will cover how to correct the Total Connect 2 setup programming error for Vista commercial panels such as the 128 BPT and 250 BPT. If you log in to Total Connect 2 and see a setup programming error, then Total Connect is not receiving information from the panel. For Vista commercial panels such as the 128 BPT and 250 BPT, this might be caused by panel programming or communicator programming. Please log out of Total Connect 2 before correcting the programming. After logging in to AlarmNet 360 and pulling up the account, choose Edit under the Actions drop-down menu on the right-hand side, then click the blue arrow. This brings up the Edit Account window. Here, at the bottom of the window, click the link labeled Click Here to Program Advanced Features. On the Advanced Programming window, you may need to scroll down to see the Remote Services options. There are five drop-downs pertaining to Remote Services. Remote Access, Direct Wire Address, Keypad Type, Email Notification, and Multi-Mode Address. For Vista Commercial Panels, set Remote Access for Enabled. The Direct Wire Address is the Virtual Keypad's address. We recommend leaving it at the default of 2 in the communicator. For Vista commercial panels, the keypad can be set for any address 01 to 30 in device programming. The device type is 01 for Alpha Console, and the option for AUI is set to Yes. The keypad type needs to be set for full control. Email notification should be set for Total Connect 2.0 Enhanced Reports. The multi-mode address is for RAS, or Remote Interactive Services. We recommend leaving this at the default of 25. As before, in device programming of the panel, set the address you chose for device type 12 RIS. After making these changes, click Save and Transfer to Device. If these options are already enabled, just choose the Send Data command. After the communicator retrieves this data from AlarmNet 360, log back in to Total Connect 2. It can take several minutes for the error to clear after the communicator retrieves data from AlarmNet 360. You may need to arm and disarm to update status. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.